And today I'm going to go on a walking tour of London. Here's Bentley. God, it's really weird to see 16, 17, 18 year olds driving a Bentley. Anyway, today I'm going to go on a uh, walking tour of London, self created tour. And uh, I'm currently over here somewhere in Kensington. I'd like to start over here by the London Bridge stop, go up Tower Bridge. The uh, Tower of London, walk over here, St. Paul's Cathedral, Tate Modern. I probably won't go in there unless I have a lot of time. Down here to the, uh, what the hell is that thing? London Eye, Big Ben. Then wander around here down to the Buckingham Palace. Up here, there's some cool little winter fair market. I don't know, something going on right there, so I'll check that out and then somehow make my way back here. <laughs> Time to get on the tube! Now, I'm not going to go into um, most of the attractions that I walk by today or most of the things, like Tower of London or the Tate Modern if I make it there, just because it's going to take too long to do that and I started this uh, really quite late in the day. Here's the Tower of London. And it really does look pretty cool from here. I found the tour inside when I went years ago to be kind of boring, <clears throat> except for the fact that the, I believe the crown jewels are inside. And that's definitely worth a visit. Here's the other side, Tower of London. You can really kind of see its uh, fortifications from here <clears throat> a little better. And there we go. I don't know, is this the most famous bridge in the world? It certainly is cool. Power Bridge. Right in the middle of the bridge. It is a really cool structure. Oh, okay. Kind of looks like a fire in the video, but it's just a light. Lots of London. This is actually cooler in person than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to be so cool. But I'm uh, glad I came. Each one of these is uh, a little skywalk across to the other one. This is really such a cool street. This is the Tower of London at uh, almost the level of the river on the other side. <laughs> That's a Tower of London. <laughs> Tower Bridge. And there's the Tower of London. And there we go, HMS Belfast. So let's try and get a better view of that. Here is the HMS Belfast. Pretty cool. It's just sitting right here, <clears throat> right in the city. And uh, you can actually go on a tour of it. And I think at least some of the lower decks, which would be really cool, except for it costs 14 pounds, which is a little over 22 US dollars. So screw that. <laughs> Look at how clean this water is. <laughs> Just makes you want to go jump right in and start swimming. <laughs> so this right here used to be an enclosed dock where ships could come from the River Thames, which as I mentioned earlier is fairly dirty, <laughs> and safely, uh, I guess, unload all their stuff. This is some sort of ship. Got a little pirate dude back there. Or just a captain. Kind of cool though. And naturally, Starbucks. Which is everywhere. Here and elsewhere in Europe. I was just walking down the street and stumbled upon this. I really love surprises like this. Apparently it's called The Monument. 
So it was made to commemorate the Great Fire of London in 1666. And uh, apparently you can go up it and it seems to be only three pounds. So expensive is <laughs> inexpensive here. So let's see if we can go get some good views before it starts downpouring. So here we go in. And here's this cute little entrance. If you're too fat, I guess you can't make it through the door. <laughs> you can't go in. <laughs> Look at this spiral staircase. Oh, it's made it feels like you're gonna fall off. That's cool. That's where we were earlier. Tower Bridge. Tower of London. HMS Belfast. Ooh. Wow. I don't know if putting up all these tall buildings is ruining their skyline or making it more interesting. And there's the Gherkin. So really the view is a little bit disappointing. I think mainly because they keep putting all these eyesores in the sky. But there we go, I think that's the cathedral. So we're gonna head there next, once I can feel my legs again. <laughs> I just uh, went up the monument, <clears throat> and uh, it was a cool surprise. And it's you know neat to look about and see that it's a monument to the Great Fire in London. But um, the view isn't so great, to be honest with you, because there's so many tall buildings, and there's behind this building and the other building. You saw the view from the top. Once this one gets finished, it's going to be more. So it really obstructs the view and provides sort of. I guess it would be a view of modern day London, not something that you would get in a city like um, Paris, where there are only a few things that stand out above all the buildings. So uh, I'm gonna go with not worth it to pay the three pounds to go up. Not, uh, not at all, let's take photos from down here. Now let's go to the chapel or cathedral, whatever. And here it looks like we are coming up to St. Paul's Cathedral. is quite a large structure. One thing I love about being in England is all the signs are in English so I can finally understand them. All of the, you know, little things that explain what's going on where you are in English and it's really cool. This is showing you the outline of what was here before the, or the cathedral that was here before the fire of 1666 destroyed everything and uh, so it's kind of cool to see that uh, this was built on top of something else. I think you can see the outlines right there and uh, I think that's pretty neat at least. <laughs> this is the front of the church and uh, unfortunately it seems like they may charge to go in. I don't understand how you could do that in a Roman Catholic church. Or no, you know what? Actually, this isn't Roman Catholic, is it? We were in England. Maybe that's why they're doing that, those bastards. Well, I uh, walked into the cathedral and stopped at the uh, little admissions area because it costs 15 pounds to get in and there's no photography or video allowed. 15 pounds. That's about $24, maybe a little more right now. I don't know, 24 US bucks to go into one church. Yeah, okay, screw that. I'll look up the photos online. <laughs> I mean, wow. And from what I was able to see, it didn't look terribly impressive, at least compared to you know, eight, the eight million other churches that I've seen. Uh, and certainly not for $24. <laughs> wow. Godly man street. <laughs> Headed to the Millennium Bridge now. Oh shit, that smells so good. I'm gonna have to get some of these. Right now I don't have a free hand. Alright, awesome. Thank you very much. Good day. Thank you, have a nice day. Alright, so I got some of these. I almost never buy street food from people, but I'm dying of hunger. Let's see how these taste. Oh, fuck. 
Oh my god, these are good. Only two pounds for this. So what is that? Three dollars and twenty cents. I thought it was gonna be a lot more expensive. These are so good. Wow, definitely not healthy for you though. Peanuts, like caramel and sugar on them. Mm. Nice snack though. So I'm gonna be walking around for a while. Is that the tape modern? Kind of ugly from the outside. Not terribly modern. So my Millennium Bridge Crossing experience is actually pretty good. <laughs> Mainly because I got these dudes. Here's a little skate park thing. It's actually kind of cool. <laughs> and check out, oh, wow. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like a castle. But check this out. <laughs> well, that is the coolest stand by far. I wish I was hungry, I'd buy something from there. And cheerio mate, there's the parliament along with Big Ben. Woohoo, so I made it. I still have some battery left. <laughs> London Eye, it kind of does look like an eye from the back and obviously wood from the other side of the river. And here is the London Eye from the other side. So it is pretty cool. I mean, it definitely sticks out. It doesn't fit in with anything that's around it. But uh, as a structure in and of itself, it's pretty cool. I'm walking to uh, get a better shot of the London Eye on the other side, River Thames, and stumbled upon the Battle of Britain Memorial. And it is quite impressive because it's not flat. It is really cool. This is actually one of the cooler war memorials that I think I've ever seen, just in terms of um, visual impact. Now picking up the tour where I left off the other day, <clears throat> you can see the London Eye right there. Big Ben right there, and what we're going to do is now head this way, some, somewhere this way. <laughs> St. Margaret's Church, Westminster Abbey. This looks a lot cooler than I thought it was going to. This is uh, actually the first church I've been excited to go into for a long time. I think mainly because I totally forgot this was here. <laughs> here you can see the Abbey from this side. And this is just about all we're going to be seeing of it today. <laughs> going to have to look up photos on Google to get the inside of it. <laughs> Because it costs 16 pounds to get in, more than um, what was it, St. Paul's Cathedral or whatever the other cathedral, 16 pounds. Are you kidding me? That's disgraceful in my opinion to get into an active church. But yeah, screw that. So looks nice from the outside though, but I I just think it's I don't know. Ray's going to church. I think it's just a little bit immoral to be charging like that. But we do have a nice view here. I'll take a photo of that where we can see Big Ben in the Abbey. It's pretty cool.
walking through St. James Park on the way to Buckingham Palace. And here is Buckingham Palace. <laughs> to be honest, this palace just kind of looks like a boring government building from the outside at least. <laughs> Here are some of the goofy guards. I wonder if he has a special uh, move walk when he has to go to the bathroom. Or symbol for that. <laughs> this is, I believe, where they do the changing of the guard. Nice little uh, car dealership. <laughs> Place right here on the shopping street. <laughs> World War II uh, monument to the um, guys that flew in the Air Force for the RAF. 55,573 died in World War II. Wow. It's quite a cool memorial. It's very well done. And uh, my favorite part about it is the quote on the back. <clears throat> Freedom is the sure possession of those alone who have the courage to defend it.